believe what his word says or what we see in the natural. And see, and that's why we have to cast down these imaginations and these thoughts. Say fortress. A fortress are constructed to protect. By whom or what? Anyway, a fortress is something that's built for protection. It will. It, 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 it's a protection from a person, a circumstance, shame, embarrassment, embarrassment, wounds, lies, curses, any type of demonic influence that will cause pain or hurt. In other words, when we get to a point where we get so comfortable in our life and God try to bring us forth and say, you know, what? I'm going to bring you out of this situation. And just because you can't see God moving out of the situation, we get caught up behind a fortress. We'll put a wall up. Well, I'm comfortable right here. God said, I want you to go find your house over here. And you say, well, God, my credit score is this here. That don't make sense to me. But see, a, a, a fortress is that, that, that lie of the enemy that telling me that I can't go find no house because my credit is jacked up and I don't see how God going to bless me with no house. But see, what we don't understand is when you hide behind those walls, when you get so comfortable in God trying to bring us out of the situation, not only do God, we stop God from bringing us out of the situation, but we stop him from helping us. Because right. we get so caught behind that wall. And we don't want to see the truth. See, it's one thing when we're dealing with these evil decrees, we got to first be willing to see the truth about ourselves. Well, to tell the truth, no, I'm not walking in faith. To tell the truth, no, I'm not walking. I'm not believing like I need to believe. Well, to tell the truth, no, the word of God, I see what it says, but what's inside of me stopping me from believing what God is saying? Because that's telling me somewhere in my life, I have been believing a lie. God, I need you to show me where did that lie come from? Because see, you got to remember, when a door is open now, the enemy going to come in. See, because if we don't find out where did we open up that door. See, God had to show me about even a couple years ago, even about what belief. I was like, well, how can God heal us by just speaking the word? I said, that's just crazy to me. Being in the ministry and everything, but that was crazy to me. I would believe for something, but some things I'm like, I don't know. But see, but God had to deal with me, and as I begin to say, God, where did I allow this spirit of unbelief to come in? And He reminded me about seven or eight years ago, I was in this class, this deliverance class, and I said, Well, that just don't make sense to me that we can just cast out some words and these spirits will go. God said, When you said that, you open up the door to unbelief. So when I had to repent and I had to renounce every spirit of doubt and unbelief and I closed that door and I asked God to wash me and cleanse me and I said, God, I accept the truth of what your word says and now it made my belief, my faith go up to another place in God because I had been believing a lie from what I was told. And see, and that's why we got to go and ask God, how come I'm not believing what your word says? See, we're believing for the headache, but he's saying that I want you to go get this building over here, and you're trying to figure out how in the world that's going to work. I ain't seen nobody who's going to help me. I don't see how you're going to do this. But he's saying, I need you to believe me. Because, see, you got to go back to our father. Who is our father? Our father, Abraham. Remember when we talked about that last week? When we read Romans 4? Remember how even the Bible said that even when he told Abraham, I'm going to bless you with a seed. The Bible said it was accredited to Abraham because Abraham believed. So Abraham did not even worry about his battle was as good as 